All right. Good morning, Cyber Friends. Here's the Midi Man coming at you again. Walk Studio back here in Studio B. And uh, we want to say, first of all, and give God the praise and honor and glory for life, health, and strength this morning, as we do every morning. And uh, thank God for each and every one of you out there in the cyber world, those within a circle and everything. And we we all want to say uh, good morning to each and every one of you. Um, as the title implies, I made it, y'all. Yes, friends, I made it. The day marks 59th year of my birth. And uh, we today is my birthday. Old Mitty Man birthday is today. So I made it. We, we thank God for the journey thus far. <clears throat> um, I wanted to just say that a lot of things have uh, transpired over these years that some of them I'm proud of, some of them I'm not so proud of. But nevertheless, I thank God for, for the journey. And uh, we are. Uh, we just uh, uh, give him all the praise, glory for health and strength. And I want to just say I was sitting here and earlier and I was listening at two of my favorite pro music producers, and songwriters, and just favorite all around guys that I've been knowing for quite some time. And uh, matter of fact, uh, back in the 80s, I was just flabbergasted with their music and their music production skills. And that's Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. Y'all may know him as Jimmy. It's, uh, a lot of people know him as Jimmy Jam. And uh, a lot of people don't even know his last name, but his last name is Harris, Jimmy Harris. And uh, But they call him Jimmy Jam, in other words. And I... Uh, I'm crazy about Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. Uh, matter of fact, those guys were with Flight Time and band back in the days, early days of Minneapolis, Minneapolis Sound. All of them was affiliated with Prince, went to high school with Prince and whatnot. Mars Day and the Time Band, y'all. In other words, Flight Time came to time. <clears throat> and so I, I, I mean, I'm very, very, very well off. Uh, those guys got my utmost respect. Uh, Jimmy Jam, Terry Lewis, and some bad, bad music producers. In my opinion, that's in my opinion. And uh, it, what a great way to just spend a morning of my birthday just to be sitting around and to listen to these guys explain and elaborate on some of their techniques uh, with the drum machine, like the 808 and 303. Um, I uh, I heard Jimmy Jam say he was not big on sequencing. Um, I think me and Jimmy both may have had that syndrome. I've never been much on doing a lot of sequencing myself, even though I can do a little bit of it, but I've never been big on it. Uh, not to say it's bad. Matter of fact, those are people that can use it. It is a great asset because it, it, it saves you from having to do a lot of repetitive stuff. And uh, I just wanted to say that, you know, I just, what a great morning to just been listening to two of my favorite guys and talk music. And in other words, music production, in other words, uh, Terry Lewis and Jimmy Jam. Matter of fact, they y'all should know them a lot from Janet Jackson. They did a lot of work with Janet Jackson back in the day, especially with the Control album. Those y'all remember the Control album. In other words, these here were back in the day. The SOS band. That's when they, when uh, Terry and Jimmy Jam, they um, got hooked up with Clarence Avon and Taboo Records. Because if y'all remember correctly, and I do, because I bought that first album the SOS band put out. The SOS band put out that album that year, and I that was the first I bought that album. It was called. Take your time, do it right, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I believe that was the title of the album, if I'm not mistaken. Now, I could be wrong, but I do know that that was a cut. Take your time, do it right. And no, it may have been SOS, Single Sounds of Success. In other words, not a signal of distress, but Sounds of su Success. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's what that SOS stood for. Like I 
like I said, been a lot of years, people. But nevertheless, so we are just sitting here and just uh, being overjoyed, you know, thanking God for, like I said, for allowing me to reach this age. And uh, many men intend on going forward and going to do some more, more things and we're going to try to add some more things to the pile, as you would like to say. And I <clears throat> reminisce back on my college days in early words in which Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis play a great part in it as far as music producer because I was listening to nothing but that type of music at that time. The Time Prince, I mean, you know, that was that was the 80s to me. That was the 80s. I mean, point blank. I mean, if you 777-9311, all those are jungle love, the bird. I mean, hey, man, come on. Come on. Come on. Give it to me. In other words, those were the sounds, man. That, that was the sounds of the club. Even in back in the day, yeah, people, I went to the club as well at that time. And especially after our club. Especially when, we going to, when I was going to Barry, we went to the after hours club. We went to a few local bars, but most of the time we, because it was one, I can't even think, I think the name of this bar was Shannon's. It was named Shannon's there in Rome, Georgia. And they used to have a live rhythm and blues band ever so often, every week they had one. And we had college night, and we would go down there. We we frequently did that, but it was that I, after I was club called, I think it was called, wow, man been a lot of years, y'all. If I'm not me, Twin Oaks. That was the name of the club. It was after hours club called the Twin Oaks. Set on the outskirts of uh, Rome, Georgia. We used to go out there every weekend. We would go there to Twin Oaks. And, uh, man, we would, I mean, and this music, like I said, the Midnight Star, <coughs> SOS Band, all the, the great prints. Mars Day in the Time. That was the music of that time, people. You know, you got to give it to them. That music dominated during that time. Janet Jackson, you know, uh, even to Paul Abdul, they all had a similar feel, but it was the sounds of the 80s, and let me tell it, because like I said, I told you, I'm stuck in the 80s. <laughs> yeah, I'm still stuck in the 80s. There it is, 2020, I'm still stuck in the 80s. Um, it's a lot went on during the 80s, y'all. Um, musically, I know it did, but it was a lot of other things that happened also during the 80s. 80 era was a very great decade, in my opinion. It was a great decade, in my opinion. And uh, they, uh, when we think back, and like I said, that come out love to listen to that Terry Lewis and Jimmy Jam, them give their interviews. And I've been watching a lot of them lately on YouTube. They got a lot of uh, clips of them. In an interview, if you're a fan of uh, Terry Lewis and Jimmy Jam, check out YouTube. They got a lot of documentary stuff up there and clips, uh, video clips of them interviewing with different ones and everything. And they giving it a lot of information on how they went about doing things. Yeah, friend, even to the fact that they got fired from, Prince fired them from the time, in other words, because when they went, and they did the production for SOS Band with Taboo Records. They weren't supposed to do that. and uh, But really and truly, they, they, people said they were fired, but really Prince set them free, really, in my opinion, because Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, I mean, hey, man, they didn't, they would, they didn't need to be tied down to no one group or no one band or no one artist. Those guys with all the talent they have, they should be able. They would. They would. They would. They should have been allowed to just spread their wings and let them fly. That's the way I say it. So, middle man sitting here, and uh, we are we are so we are so honored to be able to say it tonight. This, this morning, another year old, fifty nine today, people. Yes, Ugh. fifty nine today, and uh, we just we're so glad, and we're gonna say we're gonna enjoy my day. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this year. I told y'all, I'm going to have me a Thanksgiving by myself. Me and the bunny going to have whatever we want to have to eat. We're going to enjoy it. I mean, we can't go and get with family and friends. I know they cut that out, but you can't stop me from having fun. And mid man going to have some fun. I'm going to put on me some 777-993-E11. I'm going to put on me some of my old 80s music. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn on. I'm going to turn up Janet. I'm going to even put Michael back on. I'm gonna I'm gonna put Mars Day in 
spend the time back on, and we're gonna we're gonna enjoy ourselves. I'm not gonna sit around. God done got and gave me. Let me live to get this aid. And then I'm gonna sit around and act like I'm dead. No, I'm not dead yet. Uh-uh. We're gonna enjoy ourselves. Many men gonna enjoy him, and you better enjoy yours if you know it's good for you. So, in other words, whatever you get, whatever you get into, if God is not in it, please come out of it, cause it's gonna come to nothing. Learn to live and enjoy your life, people. God did not come. Jesus did not come for us to sit around like this all the time. In fact, that's not it at all. Live your life, enjoy. It. That's what Jesus came to give us: a uh, enjoyable life, abundant life. That's what He meant for us to do. He did not mean for us to sit around with our head bowed down all the time, like we looking at the floor about to fall over on it all the time. No, that wasn't it. I know some people would tell you differently, but remember, Middle Man told you you need to enjoy your life. Do so. Do so. Do so. With that being said, this Middle Man said, whatever you get, whatever you get into it, God ain't in it. Get on out of it because it's going to come to nothing. Till the next video, next Bible study, whichever come first. This is Middle Man saying peace. And Bible study is night. I'm not taking no night off. It's my birthday, but I still will have Bible study tonight. At 11 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Blog Talk Radio. Be there or be square. Peace and good day.